There are estimates that as many as four dozen breeding pairs of bald eagles live in Arizona, and Lake Pleasant Regional Park is home to some of them. Recently, the state's Game and Fish Department banded two young eaglets nesting on a cliff in the park, and we were lucky enough to tag along. A lot of people are surprised that bald eagles are here in Arizona, but we've, we've got quite a number of them. Uh, pretty much what bald eagles need is water and fish, and Arizona does surprisingly have a lot of water, and those waters are, are full of fish. Watch for snakes and watch for trolls. Today was a, is a special special day for us. It's the first time that we'd have a, had a chance to invite a group of homeschooled students to come out and participate in a banding. The boat ride was a lot of fun. The hike up was kind of hard, but once you get up here, it's really beautiful. From the time that we hike into a breeding area to the time we leave, we try to keep it within two hours of of total disturbance. Um, those adults will usually come back uh, at the very latest uh, within two, uh, an additional two hours. I'll have you on belay, but I'll give you slack as you go. I'll try to get that one first. Well, we got the eagles up to the top. We figured out that this guy is a little male. Uh, two and a half kilograms in weight, uh, which is a pretty healthy and expected size for, for this bird. This is a little male. Yeah. This is a little male. I can tell because of the size of his leg. A female is going to have a much bigger, fatter leg. And it was just like bigger than I thought, and it was so cute. It's like cuter than I thought it would be. We went through banding the nestling. We, we took some uh, bone measurements. Now we're, we're just about ready to uh, put it back in the nest and uh, the male bird should be in here and, and start taking care of these birds within an hour. I learned a lot because I came from Minnesota so I thought I knew a lot about bald eagles but I learned a lot more. Well this is our first banding of the year and if all goes well we, we could have a record year for number of nestlings produced by Arizona bald eagles, so it's a good start.